Hey guys, RC here, back with Football Manager 20, and this is episode 41. We're moving towards the end of the 2023 calendar year, getting ready for the winter transfer window. And uh, last episode, we had a win over Bristol City and a draw against Sheffield Wednesday. Check that out. Coming out of that, we had a 4-1 win over Cardiff Aaron Collins with a hat trick. Roger Stevenson back from injury got on the score sheet in his first match back. Crystal Palace handily beat us 2-0. Uh, we did not look a threat in that one. First loss in quite a while, going back to the Hull match in uh, early October. Then we beat Leeds 3-2. Kyle McGinnis with a brace in a seven-minute span. And Leighton Stewart with the late game winner in the 89th minute. Barnsley, a 1-0 win. Craig Mitchell with a first-half goal and a similar score over QPR as it was Aaron Collins finding the net. Nottingham Forest, I know I was supposed to come back for this one, and I started the game before I realized it and went, oops. So 2-1 to one win there. Leighton Stewart with a pair of goals as he got the start in this one and scored a brace. Uh, Harry Tuffalo with the goal for Nottingham Forest. Uh, Nottingham Forest fired their manager after that match, so that was good. We uh, were able to put him out the door. So we're back today for Southampton and Reading. We've won four on the bounce, uh, but you know we did have that nice uh, unbeaten streak get snapped. Also, we've drawn West Brom in the FA Cup, so we may do that one, but they're a Premier League side, bottom of the table in relegation positions. At least they were. Yep, they're down to 20th. So I guess we might have a shot against them. They'd be coming down. We'd be going up if uh, that's how things stand at the end of the season. We are on 54 points. Uh, that loss allowed Southampton to get just in front of us, and they are just putting goals into the net. Uh, two losses and a plus 32 goal differential. We're doing okay, plus 23 goal differential, bet, uh, second best in the league. We're six points clear of Palace, so that loss that loss to them is looming a little large because, boy, it would be nice to have uh, eight points instead of five, but uh, still a five-point cushion uh, heading into the, into the winter break uh, is not bad. And then, of course, we're only supposed to finish in the top half. We have a 14-point cushion on Barnsley for the last playoff spot. And if we go all the way down to mid-table, a 19-point cushion over Middlesbrough for mid exact mid-table, which would keep us employed, I am sure. Uh, some more, uh, just another update. So 14 goals now for Collins as he assumes the club lead in goal scoring. Ida has been in a cold streak as of late. If we take a look at his form, uh, he had one goal against Sheffield Wednesday, uh, two goals going back to the Reading match in October, but only three goals in two months. So, uh, you know, let's have a let's have a chat with him. Uh, criticize recent form. Let's be cautious. You're right. I've not scored enough. I just need some time. All right. Well, that's good. Maybe I don't do that very often, you know, but but, you know, maybe maybe that's what we needed to fire him up. So let's get into today's match. We've extended a couple of loans. Uh, nothing major. Uh, we've turned down one loan extension uh, and we've got two guys that I think we're going to end up putting up for transfer. Uh, here in a couple of days. Oh, we did sign McGinnis to a contract extension. He was making about 188000 And uh, yeah, he came in and said, hey, I wanna, want a new contract. I, I, he wanted like 860000 And 670 was literally the maximum I could offer. His, his agent shut us down. Right after he fired his agent, so I went back a couple of days later. So this makes him right at the top player, top paid player in the club. He is really good, to be fair. Uh, he can play a couple of positions, and if we take a look uh, in the central mid, 
He can play defense at mid, although he's farther down the pecking order. Stevenson, remember, is on loan, so McGinnis would actually be our starter here. Clarkson would be depth. Nico Williams is our right back, so we really needed him. I, I thought about transfer listing him, but uh, decided not to. All right, taking a look at today, we're on the road against Southampton. They are first in the table. This is a huge matchup. We we kind of need to win this if we want, you know, if we want to show that we're going to be able to last through the second half of the season. All right, we are playing our road tactic. And who is... Oh, Harvey White is our one player here. He's suspended for this match. Uh, Vidal coming back in two weeks. Kiko is going to be out for four more weeks. And... Talbro just came back from his loan, so he's not registered yet. So we'll have to register him in the next window if we don't transfer him out or try to sell him outright. Yeah, he's, he's currently a decent League Two and a decent championship right back. So I think he's expendable. We'll probably try to sell him in the window. Uh, anybody else that we want to look at? Leighton Clarkson. He can fill a lot of positions. Uh, Rawson has also set a club mark for uh, career appearances for the club. Two, 246, I think it was. So, good on him. And Oscar Stryker. You know, I really don't need him, and I would rather... Clarkson. He can't play striker, but he can play quite a few other positions in here. And where is Morell? Oh, Morell's in for White. Okay, that makes sense. Do I want... Yeah, Vieira's actually starter quality. Oh, man. These are the matches that really stress you out because you know, you know you're not going to be great... But you just want you want to sneak the points here. Uh, hold on, we've got a. Uh, I don't know why that happened again. That's a bummer. Williams into the box, headed down, and cleared out safely. Bellotti runs that one down and gets it back up into the Southampton half of the field. Crossed in, and there's Ida. And he takes our talk to heart, and he puts one in the net. And that is a good thing. All right, Palmer starts off our highlight. Hopefully it's our highlight. Oh, that makes me nervous. <laughs> All right, that's good. Over to Morell. Back out to Stevenson. There's Williams on the overlap. Crossed in and a header. Collins sends it over the net. But we are looking dangerous. Splitting possession. And we've got a bruised knee. I'm going to kind of keep an eye on his condition. We may sub him off at the half. Uh, let's ask for a little more creativity. Oh, we picked that up. Stevenson. Ball in. And then he's out of position as Ponderance picks that up. Cuts it inside. Danny Ings. We know how dangerous he is, but he sends it over the bar. All right. He's starting to drag a little bit, and he's picked up a yellow. So, yeah, let's sub him off at the half. Uh, Wharton, no, 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 Williams, there we go. We're going to bring Rawson on for him. Go do our pep talk. And we do have a few yellow cards. Get Rawson on the pitch. Stevenson. And it's Bellotti. It drops to Collins. As long as he was on sides, that's 15th goal of the season in the league and gives him another goal to keep his pace 
one in front of Ida, who scored earlier. So both strikers with goals. Let's give them some praise here, the 2-0 advantage. A little bit of build up there. Oh, nice ball out to Ings. Crossed in, and there's a header, and that goes over. Come on, boys. Push forward. Rawson into the box. Collins, and that's his second of the game, 16th on the season, brilliant header. Farron Rawson gets the assist off the throw in. Gotta like that. 3 0 advantage. I wanna go ahead and make another sub here. Uh, we'll bring on Swatridge for Wharton, get another yellow card off the field. And yeah, I think Mitchell will be our next guy. We'll pull that a little early. Let's go ahead and pull that now. Uh, Kyle McGinnis, out of position, but, you know, he can play on the other side, right? All right, let's do our keeper holding the ball. Oh, how many times? How many times? All right, Swatridge is only a left back. All right, Vieira. Let's do this. Swatridge is a wing back on the left side. So let's bring him up. And we're going to drop him to support. We're going to drop him to support. Let's move him to defend. And central defender. And I want Bilotti in the center. Yeah, I think I think that's good because I cannot make can't make another sub. I can't make another sub, can I? I don't think so. Nope. Just didn't hurt to make sure. Did not hurt to make sure. All right, let's tell him to tighten up. All right, looks like McGinnis with a foul. And we just let that one in pretty easy. Show some passion. Keeper did not even make a play on that. Oh, my God. Oh, Palmer goes up and snags that one. Thank God. And they are right back on the attack. Oh, what a save by Palmer. Cleared out by Vieira. Oh, that was huge. And then we get a highlight. Stevenson, oh, right into Karius's hands. Oh, that was unlucky. Oh, good first touch by Kirkland. Palmer flips it over the bar, setting up a corner. Dragging the time. They get it right back into play. Headed out. Good job. Come on, boys. All right, they play it all the way back to the keeper. And they come right back on the attack. Oh, an easy square in Danny Ings. Or Inge. 13th goal of the season. Is it Inge or Ings? I think it's Inge. I think. But I don't know. He plays for Southampton. Why do I care? <laughs> no, I think... I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Calvin Phillips. Oh, that's killing me. Don't like seeing him with Southampton. All right. Well, we hold on for the 3-2 victory. Uh, I'm going to say that they were good. I can't get mad about giving up two goals going a man down. And that sends us top of the league, so that's huge. Oh, Rawson. Pulled calf muscle. Three weeks. Williams, one to three days. Collins is one goal away from a bonus. Swatridge is looking to get a pay raise. 
Two goals, three key headers. We'll congratulate him. And a fifth straight win for the boys. All right, so that puts us one point up after 25. So let's get back here for Reading on uh, end of the month, and we will see you guys back here in a second. All right, as we had discussed last episode, I think the uh, planned expansion is now complete. So we have gotten another 2,790 seats. So we have total capacity of 10,000 500 fans, 7,360 seating with terracing for an additional 3,140, making up the 10, 10 and a half. So that is great news. Looking forward, and it looks like we are already expecting a sellout for our first match with the full stadium. That's awesome. Awesome news. Well, our first match was uh, snowed out. We had uh, snow and could not play the game, so that's been postponed. So we've moved ahead to January 1st, which is the Millwall match for our second match of this episode. We also kick off the transfer window. Uh, so a couple of things. We've called a couple of guys back, uh, Mirez and Moore from Loans. They just weren't getting the playing time they were promised. Uh, we have gotten an offer from uh, Paris FC for Terrence Baia. They've made us a offer uh, for his value, and we'll pick up a little bit of his salary. Um, so we've we've accepted that uh, Alessandro Crouchy. Uh, they have Oxford have made a bid at his uh, value, so we've accepted it. Uh, two signings. These were two young players that we had coming in. Uh, both have a long way to go, but they will be uh, developmental, so they'll be into the U18s or U23s. And we have a few guys that have not gotten bids yet: Ibu Adams, Lucas Talbro, Blake Morell and Kiko. Kiko is in the last year. I don't think anybody's going to offer him, and I'm not going to re-sign him, I don't think, but he is injured, and he can't play till next year anyway, so we may just ride him. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. So, we those two 18-year-olds, let's take a quick look at them. So, uh, we have Simon Forstmeyer, 18 years old, uh, plays right back, left back. He can play up the right side as well. Uh, you know, four and a half star potential, so he's got some some room to grow. And the other one is uh, Vasil Zdravkov, something to that effect. Uh, he's an 18 year old Bulgarian. This is the kid that I signed in hopes that it makes our other Bulgarian uh, happy. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it will or not. In fact, I wonder, where is he? Yanev, there he is. His happiness, he's asked to leave, still wants to leave. I'm hopeful that here in the near future, he will see that I have signed a young Bulgarian and that'll get him over the hump. But if not, I'm going to toss him in the transfer window uh, here later in the month. So we'll see what happens. Really no other major plans. Uh, these three guys have all come back. I've registered them. Uh, so we'll have uh, those guys going forward unless unless uh, we get bids for them. Uh, the board's very happy with me. A plus. We've got a B minus on transfers and tactics. Whatever. Whatever. And uh, everything else is looking good. And let's get into the match. We're heavily favored over Millwall. Uh, we have we have a sellout uh, at capacity, ten thousand five hundred people. I am. Ooh, I want to make a note here. So we have twenty twenty thousand seven hundred and four. I want to see what we get for our uh, our income. So. Typical lineup, Collins, Ida up top, Mitchell, Stevenson on the wings. We do have Harvey White suspended, 
uh, for cards. So he is out. Morrell moves into that deep line playmaker. Standard back line and Palmer in goal. So let's go out and hopefully take some points. And without White, he's the only homegrown player. Ah, that's disappointing. Let's get creative here in the early going. Not sure how busy we'll be here in this transfer window. Just I don't know that we have a lot of needs. And if anything, I need to really scale back on our payroll. I don't want to... I don't want to really drop too much. Uh, Stevenson out to Williams. There's a cross. Turn it, turn it. Oh, the bounce off, and Craig Mitchell puts it in. His fifth goal of the season. I think Ida probably should have had that goal. He did a good job to step over and just could not get it in past the keeper. All right, Vieira, McGinley. Down into the corner to Mitchell. There's a cross in. A header. Collins picks it up. Squared in and Ida two times, and he's rejected both times. One looked like a block by Cooper. I wonder if that's uh wonder if that's Cooper from uh, Leeds. Could be. Let's no, that's Jay Jake Cooper. All right. Nursing a one-nil lead. All right, let's demand a little more. Stevenson cleared out. Another try, back post. Two blocks. Oh, what a fight for the ball. Bellotti, he gets on it, but the highlight dies. Another build from the back. Williams, Bellotti, McGinley. Back to Palmer. There's the press out to Wharton. Mitchell at the midfield line. Cuts it inside. Shows a burst of pace. Squared in and Ida. <laughs> Ida needs to take a step to the left or the right to be able to get that ball off his foot for the shot. Let's show some passion. All right, good job. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. <laughs> Those guys make me nervous. Get rid of the ball. <laughs> Come on. All right, Palmer. Back out to McGinley. Bellotti. Good touch by Williams. Oh, he beats his man. And he crosses it right into the defender's foot. There's a cross, a header down, and Collins. Collins does a good job to get a good shot out of that, but right into the goalkeeper. All right, well, pretty good first half for us. I'd like another goal out of there if we could. Prove a point today. We'll keep it going. Let's ask for that creativity here early going. Anybody playing really bad? Not really. Well, there's a big cross all the way from the left to the right side. All for nothing as we reset it with the keeper. Oh, there's a nice ping out to Mitchell. Crossed in and Ida, 15th goal of the season. That's two in two games for Ida since we had the talk with him. So I am encouraged by that. Let's go ahead and give him some praise. That'll fire him up. Tell you what, let's pull the yellow off. We'll go with Leighton Clarkson on the side. And Mitchell for Vidovich. Vidosevich. Vidosevich. That sounds right. <laughs> that sounds like it might be in the ballpark. All right, good ball. Oh, brilliant pass up to Collins. Crossed into the defender. Stolen away. And a header, and it goes in. There's Ida's 16th as he has a second goal. 
banks it off the crossbar. Really good pass by the sub just coming into the game, Vasotovic. I am liking that. And let's go ahead, pop into our tactic. Ask him to slow the pace down for the keeper. And Nico Williams for Swatridge. That'll be our third and final sub of the match. And we come right back to a highlight. We get the ball. Collins beats his man. Brings it into the middle. Looks like he was trying to lay a pass up in there for Ida. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call that a pass, not a shot. All right, let's tighten up now. Coasting in with a 3-0 advantage. Wharton, Vodosevic, and Ida puts it over. Oh, and uh, there you were able to see the, the new stands in the, uh, in the end zones. And that puts us on 60 points with a game in hand. Oh, this one may not be in the books yet. Let's, let's wait for that call. There we are. All right, yes, one in hand and one up. Back-to-back -back losses for Southampton, including the defeat to us. So we have now opened up six points, potentially nine, on the automatic promotion over Palace. Just got to keep hammering it home. Got to keep hammering it home. Ida was stellar with two goals, one assist, superb in front of the net. Taking a look at the schedule, I think we're going to go ahead and skip the FA Cup, at least the third round. I mean, that's because that's the next match, right? And there's the, well, I don't know. Yeah, Reading, yeah. Huddersfield, Fulham. How about we come back for Barnsley and Leeds? That'll get us through the transfer window, get us about six more six seven more games under the belt get us into late february and that sets us up for a run now if we do win the fa cup third round against west brom not expecting it they are premier side but bottom of the table if that crops up we i may i, I will probably come back for that um and if you guys don't like that decision let me know in the comments and i'll at least Note that for future. I just, you know, I've never really come back for the very next match uh, ever. So uh, that's why I'm going to go ahead and say I'm going to skip that. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be back for, uh, for Barnsley and Leeds. See you guys for that episode tomorrow. And uh, have a good one. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new and all that other good stuff. Oh, quick shout out because I did pick up one new subscriber the other day franchise tags welcome to the channel thank you very much guys we will see you take care bye